Hey folks, JSAT here with some really good news. Mods are going to be allowed, and not only are they going to be allowed in Dark Tide, they're already created, they already work pretty well, they do some really cool stuff, and I'm going to show you a bunch of them right now. Let me start loading the game while we talk about it. So, the concept is going to be the mods like Onslaught and Deathwish from Vermintide that change how the game functions, or mods that change like uh, community rebalance of how weapons work, that ain't happening, okay? But UI mods or other quality of life mods, totally okay. Mods that do actions like players could do at the shop but do it for you, totally okay. Mods for training, testing in any other way in the Psychonium, totally okay, right? Basically, change gameplay, can't bypass the aggression system, the currency system, etc. Okay, big thank you to Ozymon, who was the main person responsible for updating the Vermintide mod framework, the Dark Tide mod framework, and a big thank you to all the modders who have already made great mods, Raindish, Practicality, Grimalact, Grassman, Allo, other people to follow. I will put their list below. Uh, next to each of their mods. So let's jump into it. I'm sure there'll be lots of other good stuff soon enough. But I've already noticed one of Rain Dish's mods. Did you notice I didn't have to hit spacebar and select a whole bunch of times? Wonderful. Next. Oh man, I really want to go to my next map, but I don't want to spend 30 seconds every time I have to get another map running across the map. Can I just have a hotkey? Yeah, there you go. There's your hotkey. Oh, and can I have the maps organized by difficulty? Yeah, there you go. Wonderful. I get a mod that'll do the obvious thing for me. Well, just buy the things with tier 3 blessings, because apparently we have to hunt for those still. Ugh. Or weapon ratings above blank, blank, blank. Sure, that already exists too. There are also some mods already to make rerolling a little bit better. They're a little bit on hold on development there until they see what Fatshark wants to do with the crafting system. But you'll definitely get some good QOL out of this as we get closer and closer. Let's go to the Psychonium. So the Psychonium, as it is now, not bad. Definitely better than anything Fatshark's ever given us for testing before, like the trading dummies. Eh. However, you've always wanted to be able to basically train. And the Psychonium, I mean, it sure seems like the kind of thing where in lore it would make sense if you could spawn enemies and fight against them. Well, now you can using Creature Spawner. Creature Spawner lets you cycle through all the enemy breeds and pick one to spawn. You can turn on the AI so you can practice things like dodging and pushing against hounds, pox bursters. You can learn how to dance the bosses, etc., etc., etc. Really powerful and cool stuff. I can't stress it enough how important it's going to be to be able to practice those things in isolation. Next, and I won't do a demonstration here, but there's going to be a huge possibility to make custom mods to display specific information, like, I don't know, how suppressed an enemy is at a given moment, so you can explain and understand mechanics. More on that really shortly. Hint, hint. Next, really cool mod by Fracticality, where you can drag and drop UI elements and place them where you want, so you can have the information where you want, right? That's going to be really cool. He's continuing to work on this and a crosshair related mod about putting information here. I'm sure other related mods like crosshair, kill confirmation and such will be coming soon enough. So I want to jump ahead now and I want to show you a little bit of gameplay where I have a couple other really awesome quality of life mods demonstrated. So here we go. Here is a tier five high intensity. What do you see? Yes, an HP bar and damage numbers mods. And it's toggleable right now by enemy type, and it'll be altered to be by breed. So you can put the information you want, right? Another often requested feature is, hey, can I see my enemies or my teammates HP or how much ammo they have? There you go, right? I mean, <laughs> not much to say. This is a beautiful thing, right? Let's see. I want to, while I'm here, also show you Grassman's mod. That's right, the end screen hoax that somebody spent a whole bunch of time photoshopping is not a photoshop. It is an already created mod that shows you detailed statistics per player on all sorts of stuff that already happened, right? This already exists. This will be available to you shortly. While I have you, I wanna show you how quick and easy it is to install. I'll do a detailed installation guide when we get there. 
So you will download the mod framework. You will go to your 40k folder, dump it in here. There's a single double click executable. I don't even know if that's going to still be there by the time we get to live. I know they're working on it actively. You'll double click into mods. This will be a folder that's already there with some options. In order to install a new mod, you'll download a file. The file will have a couple components pairs. You'll dump it into here. And if you want to turn it on, go into here. You'll turn it on by putting it in this list. These are the lists that are installed. Now, as to customizing it, I've already mentioned a number of these mods have lots of customization options. Let me make a little tweak. I'm sorry. I am on an absolutely enormous monitor, so you can't even see my menus normally. So now you can. Here is the mod menu. All of these mods have options, right? Oh, that's what I should have mentioned. There's a ping monitor now. You can see a numerical ping. How cool is that? So for example, creature spawner, I can turn it on and off. I can pick which, like a limited list of the enemies that I toggle through. I can mess with various features of the Psychonium by hitting these guys, by turning the AI on back and off, right? So for example, let's turn the AI back to off. Enable invisibility, yes. And enable the AI respawn. There you go. Sound muffler back on. You can change hotkeys and set hotkeys, including modifiers, right? Which is awesome. Etc. 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 So let's look at another really cool mod: disable screen effects. Right now, there's tons of screen effects in this game. This one shuts tons of them off. But let's say some of them you think are important. You lose ones back on on a per basis, and it's this easy. It's this easy. Let me show you what this one does just for fun. Disable Chaos Beast of Nurgle hit by vomit on. Let's turn that to off. See what normally happens. Go back to Creature Spawner and turn the AI back on. Oh no! Oh wait, let me kill everything real quick. So... Wrong way. Stand by. That's normal, right? All the screen effects. Let's go back here to disable screen effects. And let's turn that one back off. Oh, ow, I did the stupid thing where you can't turn it off before the effect goes off. Just, you'll have to believe me. <laughs> That's a small bug in the mod. But anyways, I hope this is of interest to all of you. I will, again, as I said, post below a list of the mods and the names. It'll be available frequent, uh, uh, soon, soon. I think the patches do end of Feb. If you have any questions, hit me up in the Discord. And if you have mod feature requests, also join the Discord and dump it into the appropriate channel. All those are being collected. I know Rain Dish is actively monitoring that channel. So who knows? You might get lucky. Somebody might build the thing that you're looking for. Anyways, guys, exciting news. Happy to share. Talk soon. Bye-bye.